In this video, we're going to take a look at alignment styles and alignment labels, because there is a large amount of information that we can display in alignment, and we have to use multiple different kinds of labels, different label sets, different label styles to accurately show what we need. The first, probably easiest part is if we under settings tab, and we've played in this a little bit, we expand alignment, and here's our alignment styles. Now I've only got two in this drawing, three with the standard that apparently never seems to go away. So I have alignment and alignment center line. You may have more, there may be existing, there may be design, but for what I need, I've only got the two. So let's see what alignment style this alignment's using. So if I select it, right click alignment properties, we're using alignment center line. Alternatively, if I hover over top of this alignment, it tells us that we're using the style alignment center line. So going into tool space under your settings tab, just to double click, it brings up the alignment center line dialog box. So design or information tab, the name, the design markers. Do we want to put any markers on, on our alignment where say the beginning of alignment, end of alignment, we could add in different markers to display things. Maybe instead of having labels, you just display a, a marker and put it in a legend. The display tab, is where we can turn things on and off. So we could show lines, curves, spirals, direction arrows, curve extensions, whatever we need. So when I'm designing alignment, I do like to come in here and I do change some of these colors on curves and tangents and just, or sorry, curves and spirals, just so I can see what's happening when I come into my alignment. So here's my tangent, here's my spiral, here's my curve. And as you see, some of these labels do line up with that. So just play around with your alignment style. Always make sure to set it back to just a solid color because this will print and it will look rather goofy with different colors. So let's look at label styles now. Label styles are a large part of alignments. There's a lot of things we can add. The first column is label sets or the first expansion plus label sets. So we could set up a label set to display the labels that we want it to. Right now I've only got really two set up. So 50 and 100, 120. And if I go into that, that'll put major stations. It'll label major stations every 100 meters and minor stations with a tick. We could add other information into this. However, I prefer to do this manually. So you could set up geometry points. You could set up design speeds, profile, geometry points, super elevation, critical points, and have these automatically applied when you build your alignment. But there are so many labels that we can add to alignment that it can end up being a mess. And as you see in this drawing, I have it set up for 1 to 2,000. It's on the verge of being a mess. So if we add in more, we're obviously going to have more labels to deal with. Station labels. So we can add station labels. Major stations. So it's going to label our major stations. So 0 plus 0, 0, 0 would be a major station. 1 plus 0, 0, 0 would be a major station. I have these set to a thousand meter intervals. We have minor stations, which are our tick only. So every t it's going to label it every tick. And I believe I have it set to every 100 or 50 meters. We can go check that in a, in a moment here. Geometry points. So these are your alignment geometry points. And it's going to label the tangent to spiral, spiral to curve, curve midpoint. If you just have curve start, curve end, it's going to label that. Profile geometry points. So we can add in our profile geometry points. And that's any vertical curves, any PIs, uh, PVIs, start of curve, end of curve. So we can coordinate the vertical with the horizontal. And see where our curves are starting and where our curves are ending. Any station equations we can add in. Design speed, if the road changes the design speed, we can label that on there as well. Super elevation critical points. So where does your super elevation happen? Normal crown, end normal crown, level crown, reverse crown, full super. And some cantilever critical points. We can label station offset. So at station 550 offset by 300 meters, we have this. For example, we can lines, so length and azimuth, we can label curves, the information about the curve, some spiral information, we can throw a spiral label on there, tangent intersection, and point of intersection. 
So this would be a point of intersection label. It just tells us where the the road was tangent tangent before we added the curve in. So let's take a look at some of these labels. Now to find out what labels are attached to this actual alignment, we have to select the alignment, right click, and go under edit alignment labels, which will bring up our alignment labels for this full road. So right now I'm displaying major stations with an increment of a thousand. I'm displaying minor stations with an increment of 50. Let's just go change this, not to 50, to 500. So we can see, we can see it update down here. I'm displaying my geometry points with the style perpendicular tick in line. If I wanna change what style it's using, I can select that little price tag button. Same with super elevation critical points, the little price tag button, you can change what style is being applied. I could add in design speeds. So if I have, if I add that in, we'll see what it looks like. Profile geometry points, let's do code and station. Now, when you select that, Sometimes we get this additional dialog box. So select your profile. I want to use my design. I don't want to grab anything from my existing. And what do I want to label? So you can come in here, you can turn things on and off as needed. Say you didn't do that and you accidentally clicked OK. You can come in here and there's a dot, dot, dot. So we can select that and choose what we need. We can change the alignment that's being applied or the profile that it's using. We can look at even the super elevation stuff. I don't need to label beginning of alignment and we're not showing any normal shoulder or end of shoulder, so I'd turn those off. Why have extra labels when you don't need them? So I'm going to hit okay now. And we did change our major stations to every 500. So we have those 500, 500, 500. But as we notice, we have, we've had some new labels uh, appearing. So we have beginning of our vertical profile. So the beginning of the profile starts here. Then at this section on our road, we have begin vertical curve. We have the middle of the curve. We have the end of the vertical curve. So this is a curve on a straight tangent. All is good. Then we come to the middle of this, this curve a little bit. We have begin vertical curve, middle of curve, end middle of, uh, vertical curve. So we have a curve vertically on a curve horizontally. So again, we want to try and coordinate our vertical with our horizontal. Now this is a very uh, slow change in grade. So we're going from 0.75 to 0.63. This vertical curve is not an overly large deal, but if we have it going from plus two to minus two, then we might have to adjust it a little bit. We have some vertical curve information in here. Did I see the design speed anywhere? I don't think I saw, oh, design speed right here. Design speed, 120 kilometers an hour. So I've designed this road for 120. If the design speed changed halfway through, we would see that as well. So that was just a quick video on alignment styles and labels. Again, we all know how to edit labels now. Edit alignment labels, go into the style itself. Again, through your settings tab, you can change what's shown, you can change the text size and whatnot. So it's all stuff we've done before. So again, editing align or, uh, alignment styles and label styles.